Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on the two MIDI scale sets from 2009 and 10, of course. <coughs> so, as you see, you have the Lego Star Wars logos, and two different borders that there were for both of the times, of course. But interesting for this one particular, William Falcon, is that since it was out in 2009, and 2009 was the 10th anniversary uh, of it, so there were the sets that had the special border for that, but originally this one was to have that 10th anniversary border for that, but for some reason they went ahead and used the same border as most of the other sets from the time, but not sure why, but whatever. But see, anyways, picture of it in action, and set number 7778. And, yeah. and on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then out of Lego Club. And out for some other sets there were at the time. And also holding some, a couple of hand, a handers to holding the set. And also measurements and uh, little uh, facts of the set of the Millennium Falcon. And then the pieces that come with the set, of course. Just in, then the last steps. <clears throat> and then this one, which says just MIDI scale, which the other one didn't say, of course. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And add for a few. A promotional poster like add of some of the Clone Wars sets and also add for some other sets there were at the time. <coughs> and same thing. But of course with the little ah, backs of the Star Destroyer as well. And then the pieces uh, come with the set of course and then the last building steps. the sets, starting with the Millennium Falcon here. And it, of course, probably one of the, and of course it's the Millennium Falcon, one of the most iconic ships of all time, or iconic spacecrafts of all time, and an important part of the Star Wars series, of course. And of course, the, we have seen in, it in set form many, many times before, like twice for the sequel trilogy, and very few times for this classic original trilogy, but this was the only time we've ever had it in this MIDI scale kind of form. So, um, as for the front shaping of which, uh, does well capture it, but, and of course, do get a lot of these 1x2 round tiles with some stickers on them, and of course, and also the, the like little lights that there are, and of course some Hollow space right there, of course. And also, but also up here, which got the like circular uh, satellite dish piece, but well before it got knocked off in Return of the Jedi, of course. <coughs> and of course, old style foam piece acting as a greeble detail, and some little bit of greebling details, all I think. A little bit more could have gone a little more farther, but then on this side, of which do have some quite good use of that little plain engine piece, and also another tile piece with some uh, like odd sticker on it for some extra detailing, of course. But the top part, of which does have another uh, different satellite dish piece, but one that turns back and forth and also has a couple binocular pieces used as blasters, of course. And on this other side of which, we would have this larger cone piece that has uh, what's supposed to be like the cockpit kind of section, but it has another sticker that, and same with the tile on it as well, top as well. <coughs> And also, same stuff on the other side, of course, and on the uh, top part, which has another, has a whole bunch of printed 
printed type, or I think printed, yeah, printed uh, vent pieces. They're quite nice for that. And also this, like, blue two-piece, or Fendi two-piece in a uh, clear blue, uh, which just about the same as, well, for, since the very first version of it. And of course this little smaller, of course, to fit the scale of this one. And also below, same kind of turned uh, thing that there is. And also do get these like little support type pieces. This acting as the landing gear, obviously. And you get six of, of course. And also a little uh, thing that comes down, but kind of not meant to, since it's just to fill in a spa the spaces of it. Although I think a like hanging bracket or something. Yeah, there should be a hanging bracket but somewhere in there to help keep it in support, but yeah. Also, as far as the uh, scale of this goes, that at this time, rumor has it there might be a Yahweh yeah, 4 set, and there might, in this, which might be included in that. Kind of like Slave 1 in the Millennium Fowl in the recent Cloud City set, but yeah. Well, is it true? Possibly. But let's see how that goes, but yeah. And I guess that is it with this MIDI scale Millennium Falcon. <coughs> and now onto the MIDI scale Star Destroyer here. Of which, for this, how it's done in this scale, uh, done quite great, quite nicely. Uh, which does well capture it well. And so, like, as you see, for the angling, does have plenty of, like, the corner type plates for that going all the way down of course and also a couple of tiles here and there and of course shaping does and of course the complete angling of it just about quite like the traditional version of it and even though despite being a little small quite smaller than those versions but of course not have the folding out kind of feature like the other ones did. And also, just like the Millennium Falcon one had is the like little binocular pieces used for the blasters. Although, well the instructions say put it like this way. But personally, I think they are better off. I think they're better off this way, of course. And as for this upper part, uh, done quite goodly with different plates up there. And as for the main cockpit bridge kind of area, done quite well, like with the like clip pieces in there representing uh, parts of windows, of course, and also the light gray version of the Technic ball joint type pieces. Uh, also quite nice to have here, of course. And as for the back area, of which three dish pieces used for the engines, of course, and also tiny wheel pieces also for that, obviously. Also quite good for as is. And as for the bottom section, uh, also well captures it, and of course a few black plates representing when the Tantive Four gets brought up into it, of course, probably to represent some of the hollow space that there is in it. And, but also notice a little technic couple of technic bits here is for obviously for it to stand up quite quite nicely and it does quite nicely but yeah and what else to say not much but yeah and so now on to the final verdict So overall, I think these which are quite good sets as for what they are. And also a bit of something that we have seen once, but never bef again from them is MIDI scale type sets, since we're like used to very small or regular scale and whatnot. But these are which kind of like in the middle type of scale for that. Well, at least until 2018 with the Slave 1 set in Betrayal at Cloud City, of course. but. However, with that one, you could fit a mini thing into 
but these can't at all. And of course, can't open up either of these ones, but maybe if they were made now, I think they could do so, but yeah. But as is, I think this is a, a quite pseudo to UCS, but still can kind of it work out as UCS, but yeah. But at least they, they at least they were kind of brief for as is, but even though we're kind of used to like a play scale or UCS and whatnot, and yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good times or good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, well, go ahead and pick them up. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.